you know, it's a little minor tweaking. Right. But um, we live from the kitchen. Yes, sir. This is like, um, I don't know which episode we on right now, but we are definitely live from the kitchen. This is going to go down as part of the live from the kitchen segments that we're doing because we literally in the kitchen. And my man, <laughs> <laughs> my man Ryan can attest to that, you know. Yes, sir. Ryan, what's up, baby? Introduce yourself. Man, we in here chilling, man. You know what it is. Hazy TV. You can catch me YouTube, Hazy Fam. You feel me? Uh, Twitter, Hazy underscore TV. Instagram, Hazy underscore TV. Yeah, yeah. Everything Hazy TV, man. We're going to have we're gonna have all the links. All the links. Everything. Everything you got is going to be available right there. Everybody's going to just be able to click it as soon as up. they listen to this, for sure. Man, so, hey, look. So, we was just having a conversation I know your your feature film, mm-hmm. your feature film. You calling it a movie, a feature film? Like, what's up? Man, call it whatever. Just <laughs> anybody come out, man. That's what it's gonna be, man. Big, yeah. big event. It is gonna be a big event. Where Where is it gonna be? Let's get that out the way right away. Where is it gonna be at? It's what day? Be, it's gonna be at the uh, Center of the Movie Theater on York Road. Um, I don't know why I forget the address. It might be like. 5904 York Road, something like that. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's going to be May 19th, 7 o'clock to 11 o'clock. Yeah. It's going to be real big red carpet event. You uh, know what I'm saying? They let you drink the wine in there, the B&A, uh, the popcorn, you know what I'm saying? So you get real comfortable. It's nice. going to be dope, man. Hopefully got some interviews in there, too. Okay, okay. Uh, you know what I'm saying? If you ain't doing nothing, bring the show out there. Yeah, you yeah. Can, you can record live on the red carpet. My man, I mean? my man. That would be dope. I was, I was actually... I think I'm working that day, but I'm definitely making it. So I have to like bring a change of clothes. Bet. You know what I mean? So we and 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 change as soon as boom and then head straight there. But I'm gonna definitely be there. Yeah, that's what's for up. sure. I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely show my love and support, my dude. Yeah, Daryl um Manor, dude I work with, he's yeah. gonna be out there too. He's gonna be working that day, so he's gonna be coming straight from work and then yeah. straight over there. So what's the time? What's the time like? Um, seven o'clock to about eight o'clock is going to be the red carpet. Okay, and then I'm trying to start the movie directly at like eight o'clock because it's it's kind of long for real. So I'm not trying to push the eleven o'clock limit. Yeah. So hopefully we ain't on black people time. We can, <laughs> we can uh, get everything started accordingly. Right. Yeah. So I'm that pre- I'm that might happen though. That, though. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, I'm pretty good with it though. Like I usually. You know what I'm saying? I check my watch, so whenever I get to like 7.45, I'm like, all right. Boom. You know what I'm saying? Let's Start get Start moving head. everybody. You right. feel me? And then I got the music video yeah. advertisements, yeah. you feel me, before the event. So while they running, once it gets to the end, I already know, like, yo, it's time to wrap it up, and Let's get this started. Right. Let, let me get a little, like, five-minute brief introduction with the mic at the front. So, right. So by the time... All that said and done, I'm pretty sure we're going to be running on time, and I'm going to make sure we're running on yeah, time. There we go. Whoever late, just going to have to be late, and then they just going to have to miss the big bang at the beginning of the right. video. It's definitely a big bang, you feel Shit. me? So. Damn, man, that's crazy, because I get off at 8 on a dot. Oh, uh, for real? <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to be uh, one of those people running behind, but I'm going to be there. Good. It's all good, you know, man. You I'm going to just catch... peep you through the crowd. Yo, what's up, bro? Right. Man, we're going to be in. <laughs> you're going you to catch a live part, though. Yeah. Trust me, it's a lot of action in there, man. It's a lot of street stuff going on, and and it's a lot. It's got some romance in there. It's got a little bit of stuff for the for the uh, gentlemen. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That they want to see and all right, that. Right, right. So, you feel me? It's gonna be dope, man. I'm excited. I, I don't doubt it one bit, my dude. Yeah, man, I'm excited. Hey, how long you been? How long been shooting this movie, man? Two years, man. We started two years. like uh, we started at the end of the summer, a couple of years, probably 2014. Yeah, and then um, we finished it probably like early, um, right before winter time. Okay, right before winter time, probably leading into the fall while it was still warm, because you know when they get cold, really till like November. Yeah, that's when it was weird. It was really weird. Yeah, so um, we basically uh, wrapped it up then. We did a lot of the, once it started getting colder, we did a lot of the inside scenes. But okay. I made sure we wrapped all the outside scenes out before it got cold. So it's a, ba- it's a summertime based movie. Okay. You feel me? Gotcha, so, gotcha. So yeah, so I tried not to have no hoodies on too much unless it was raining outside or something like that or yeah. big coats or nothing like that. It would have messed the whole Right, it would have messed the, the thing vibe up. up, right. Yeah, yeah, so. Gotcha, gotcha. Man, what, inspi- what, what inspired you guys, what, you to get, you have a team? I know you one-man army. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you are one-man <laughs> army. I know you, you shooting. Know. I know you directing. Mm-hmm. I know you editing. I know you doing everything. But, like, do you have a team, like, 
that's working with you and handling so you can delegate certain tasks to each one or you it's just you taking care of everything yeah I'm saying like um, I know you got Hazy fan for sure but yeah, I know yeah, like definitely as far as this shooting you know and, and editing and the process that it takes to complete this I actually got a young lady named Teresa Davis that I reached out to that helped me um, film and direct the movie okay you know she's my co-director but um, as of like editing and and uh, basically um handling everything else you know what i'm saying yeah and mixing down and effects and everything like that that's it's been you it's your boy hazy <laughs> man <laughs> you feel me hey so. I, that's much respect man much respect because i know when you start on a project there's a lot of ups and downs man and yeah. there's things that could discourage you and throw you off track and mm -hmm. then you gotta you the one that has to pick yourself back up and get back on track right you know what i mean and you might not you you on the you on deadlines you got things to accomplish you got mm -hmm. your own work life going on too yeah. so it's like all of this balance and you still did it and it still took this long much respect i appreciate it you know because you know we're freelance too because you know where i come from you know you know what i what i use at least mm -hmm. i used to shoot i haven't been i haven't shot in a while either but you know what i mean i know what it takes right. so i've been there in uh -huh. those shoes so i kind of know like man it's yeah. difficult bro so we started uh, around the same time for real yeah we did you know what i'm saying we definitely you, did you had me you inspired me for real you know what i'm saying <laughs> you man. was out there getting it i'm like shoot man i <laughs> get a piece of that too man word word my man and i opened my arms all you, right i opened my arms it was like hey you go bro that's Real what's up i remember that i remember you was um you was I remember the questions you was debating whether you was go Canon or Nikon, mm -hmm. which is everybody's question at the very beginning. Yeah. Have, have people people I'm sure people have asked you already. Hey, look, uh, where, which route should I go, Canon or Nikon? All you know, the time. you know, and then you kind of have to like break it down to them and like I right, look this that and yeah. yeah, yeah. You know. I usually tell them because I ain't really technological. You feel me? Whenever yeah, yeah. I had any technology questions, yeah. I would ask you. you know what I'm <laughs> saying man. I would either ask you or I would ask my other man that kind of know about cameras. You feel me? But when they ask me, I just tell them I'll be like, man, I'm more of a Nikon person just because yeah. that's what I'm used to. That's right. what I always shot with. I don't really, I ain't really too familiar with Canons. Right. You know what I'm saying so. I can't tell you nothing bad about them. I can't really tell you nothing good about them. I just know Nikon. You feel me? Yeah. So that's just that's just me and what I'm. When I'm um, interested in and when right. I work with, you exactly, me? yeah. I, I, I always looked at them like this because I never talk bad about Nikon, never talk bad about Canon. That was that was your joint. Oh, Hold God. on, yeah. I never I never talk bad about either one, but what I do know is it's it's the same thing as using Windows or using Mac or right. using an Android or using an iPhone. Mm -hmm. To me, it was just like either or. They both could shoot great. No matter what, it was all about the person behind it right. that can make the you know. Can I, you could give your camera to a whole other person and say, "Here, do what I do," mm -hmm. and they won't be able to do it. Uh, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Uh, so <laughs> definitely not. You right? Know I mean? It's all about the eye too when yeah. it comes to filming. You got that vision, just bro. like just like with photography. Yeah, you doing? I can't do none of that stuff. You doing? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got a different eye than me. You yeah, feel me? yeah. You 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 real good at capturing that still image and being able to bring that to life. The way it's with me, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to the video, I'm yeah, able to go. capture the motion footage and get that in a good light. You feel me? So right. it's just a different eye with different people. And and the reason I like what you just said right now is because I've you know whenever somebody asks me about you know starting in photography or whatever i automatically just give them all my knowledge reason being because of that everybody's unique everybody's vision is going to be completely different right so you know whatever i don't care about what i was able to do maybe you this other person is going to be able to do so much more and just because i showed them a little tiny bit boom mm -hmm. there you go you get started yeah. you know what i mean especially if they got that fire in their heart like mm -hmm. you did you know what i mean yeah. it's just like you're just getting started yeah see me i'm more i don't know i'm more um closed in with mine i guess maybe because of the genre i'm in with hip-hop yeah it's real competitive you know what i'm saying so like when usually people ask me questions i'm kind of standoffish because you don't never really know who got your best interest at heart you very know true photography kind of different you know what i'm saying because that's just a love kind of thing you it know what is I'm saying? like you you can go up to people and be like yo i took this picture you know what i'm saying a person show you i took this picture be like yo that's nice you know what i'm saying right. and it's always loving that it ain't never really like yo my picture better than your picture you know what i'm saying that's so true but man. when it when right. it come to hip hop hip hop is a different culture you know what i'm saying it's so compared it's like basically uh wrestling you it know is. what i'm saying it's it basically is. like wrestling like it's hard to really come at somebody and be like yo 
what did you do with this? You know what I'm saying? How how you edit this? Da 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 da. Because then basically that person gonna use your juice right. that you just gave them. You know what I'm saying? And try to recreate what you just did. You know what I'm saying? So I'm unfortunately with, with me, I'm kind of standoffish. I could, I guess you could say. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't mind helping people if I see that they really, you know what I'm saying, a genuine yeah. person and stuff like Indeed. that. But you just really, with me, I just really got to be in a, in a um I guess, in a state with you the way I got trust in you that you're not really going to go out there and try to backlash against me. Right. You see what I'm saying? So right. it's, just a, it's just a different culture. No, I that's very true. That's very true. You could put two, you could put two completely different rappers that never met each other. You mm-hmm. could put them together in one room with a mutual friend yep. that's recording them or produced the track or whatever, and they're going to try to tear each other's heads off. Yep. You know what I mean? Regardless of, regardless of their chemistry mm-hmm. as, as human beings, they're going to talk and chill, vibe out. But when it's time to get on that track, though, yep. it's a complete different story. Yep. You know what I mean? When that guy's sitting in the corner writing his joint, another guy's sitting in the other corner writing his joint, they, yep. yo, nigga, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tear right. your head off. And that's, <laughs> I don't know why, but I felt that a million times. I'm sure you felt it a million times. Yep. It's just, it just happens. I don't know why right. that coach is like that, but it is, you know. And then after that, it'll be all smiles and hugs yeah. and everybody's chilling. But, you know what I mean? It's, while we're in there, it's right. over. But my team, we got this thing called competitive um, competition. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's more like a friendly type of thing. I guess like a scrimmage, you feel me? Okay. To where we basically, you know what I'm saying, whenever we got one of my artists from Hazy Family, like we could have Young Shooter or we could have uh, King Connors in the, in the track together. Yeah. When they doing the track together, both of them, the unique thing about them is they don't write. You see what I'm saying? They just use their heads. They don't write. They just wow. write in their heads. It's called mental composition. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They just write in their heads and remember it, though. That's It's like amazing to me. Wow. You know so the fact that both of them can do it, they they already know they had a different caliber than a lot of artists. So once them two get on the track, they'll tell each other straight up, like, yo, look. Uh, you better come bring it on this track because I'm telling you, I ain't playing and I'm going I'm to rip yeah, your head off. You right. feel like I'm a beast, y'all. Da, da, da. So it, that's why I'd always bring out good music when we do that. And it's like you said, it's that's always all love. True. You know what I'm saying? It's always all love. It ain't never no, no uh, beat for yeah. each other. It's always all love. It's music. You know it is music. I love it. Is the art, man. It's the art form. That's what we used to do. We used to, we used to be in Roosevelt Projects in Brooklyn. Mm-hmm. And it was like 15 of us. In a room yeah. <laughs> with a small computer running the windows right. in the Cubase <laughs> and one little like twenty dollar microphone and and man, it's just the energy that was in there. But everybody was cool with everybody. Right. But when it was time to get in front of that mic, everybody was like, "Yo, I got these fourteen other people looking at me. Who's gonna come the hardest?" Yep. You know what I mean? So I know I know that that energy is amazing, bro. It, yep. it does bring the best out of you, yep. and that's good. You know, definitely good to have those people around you, man. But with photography, going back to that, with photography is a whole different thing because I don't know what it is. I mean, some photographers, I'm sure, have that competition inside of them, Mm -hmm. but I haven't met one yet. Right. They're always friendly. They're always cool. They want to show you things. They don't bring it out. You know Mm -hmm. what I mean? And then you pay it forward. Right. You know what I mean? You just pay it forward. Um, Devin Allen, have you heard of him? Nah, I've never heard of him. Devin Allen was the guy. He... um, I would love to have him on here one day too, man. He's a Baltimore-based photographer. Okay. Who had his cover on the New York? It was on the Times Magazine. It wasn't New York Times. It was the Times Magazine. Right. He was shooting the Baltimore pro the 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 protest. He was out there the whole okay. time and shot like some crazy images. I might uh, I might know who you talking. You probably about. seen his work. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it was such a controversial era here in Baltimore City right. that you know. For him to go out there and kill it like that, I don't know too much of his background and that, but I followed him on Instagram way before the the protest, the riots happened. So I was following him before that because I was okay. feeling his work. And then I remember being on Instagram the day the night the, night the riots started, and I'm like, "Yo, like I was he was my news station, right?" And he was a photographer, but um, definitely I want to. If I haven't, if you have never heard of him, now his name is Devin yeah, Allen. I'm gonna definitely put check you him on. out. I'm gonna definitely yeah. check him out. Yeah, so man, you already know about my man Willis, man. I uh-huh. don't sleep on my man Willis. On that <laughs> the crazy thing is, dog. Yeah, you know I did a little bit of work with Nine Two Q. Okay, for the Hooligan Express with Square Wide. Yeah, and, um, while we was doing that, uh, um, like I would have to share the videos with Square Wide and let yeah. them in there, man. And as you go to his profile on Facebook, 
the story never ends photo, the black uh, and white joint. You know what I'm saying? It's still up. Man Willis is still up there. It's still up there. Still up there. Wow. Never taking it down. You feel me? So that's what's uh, up, man. Ah, uh, that hey, that just gave me goosebumps, bro. Yeah, like, cause yeah, I haven't yeah, shot yeah. in a minute. You know what's crazy? Um, I I shot I shut down my Facebook for personal reasons. Um, it was just causing too much drama. Right. Like as anybody started, Facebook always caused somebody some drama. Right. So it was causing me drama and I closed it down and I never missed it ever since. Right. But my photography page is still active. Um, my brothers are administrators. I made them administrators on it at, at some point while I was uploading stuff and they tell me, yo, there's still people going on there liking your yeah, stuff and showing yeah, love. And I'm like, damn, that's yeah, crazy. Man, you was nice, man. <laughs> you came in, you came in, did my first event for real. Yeah. I don't I'm, know if you remember that. I yeah. did. Um, we you, opened up for Hobson at the um, Sona. At Sona, yeah. yes, I remember Hobson, uh, the green room. I remember the green yeah. room was dope. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. remember. We was in there, man. It was man. We go back. Man. We do go like, back. I had to be like 2010, 2009. Yeah, it was a minute. Yeah, wow, yeah, man. We go back, man. So we do, know, man. The work speak for itself, though. Yeah, man. timeless work, man. Timeless art. The, yeah, I wish. Um, my goals would be to get back to that. I just want to create. I just yeah. want to create all day and um, maybe have somebody else in charge of selling. Even though I can sell my ass off, that's not a problem. But you know, <laughs> the business side of things is crazy, and we still gotta pay bills. Yeah. So that's why, I like, the creation yeah. process slowed down. But we we ain't here though. We ain't here. We yeah. we gonna make some beautiful things happen. I'm glad to see you doing good. I ain't trying, man. I'm glad to see you putting these projects together still. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Yes, yeah, later. <laughs> still, hey, how many? Tell the people how many videos you have on your YouTube channel. I don't know the exact number, but it's up there around between like 130 and 150. It's up there, man. All edited, all edited shot, directed. Man. I don't put no raw footage on that, man. Everything is blood, sweat, and tears. You feel uh, me? So, damn, man, man. That's, that's work right there. Man. You have to respect the numbers, man, because coming, coming from where we come from and, and still having time and dedication for your passion this long running, yep. that just deserves respect, period. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It, just, it does. And your work is super dope, man. And, and you're getting it. your name out there. And, you know, people love it. People respect it. You know, I hear, I'll talk to people. Yo, you, nah, oh, yeah, my man Ryan shot that. Yeah, that's Word. what's up. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, that's what's up. Man. Yeah, it goes out, man. You know, and eventually the goal would be to get out, you know, and, and yep. spread this even further. Yeah. Work on way bigger projects and continue on. And this is how you do it, yep. by continuing to work. This is a this is a message to all the lazy motherfuckers out there <laughs> that don't have the balls to continue on for years and years and years after your craft or this, decide to develop your craft or change it up or add something new or change your style and just keep on with the same thing thinking it's gonna work. Yeah, and with me, with me, like when I was growing up into it, yeah, like I started, I started like doing the rap thing when I was it was probably like before two thousand four. You know what I'm saying? I was doing a rap thing. I dealt with a lot of it, man. Your whack, man, and all this stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you always deal with like people that's going to try to bring you down. You know what I'm saying? But I just use that as energy to basically build me up. You know what I'm saying? And create something the way I'm like, man, they talking all that. But I'm going to create something the way they can't reach that. You feel me? Yeah. And I'm going to always climb and exceed the way and I'm basically going to put myself on a level that's above them. And I'm going to just keep on rising. And yeah. I'm going to see where they going to go after a while. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, it's just it's it's just motivation for me whenever when I you know what I'm saying when I first I still deal with it. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Of course, of course. You know it's part, it comes it's part of the terri- it yeah. comes with territory, yeah, you know for what sure. You know what I'm saying? Like I still deal with it. I know a lot of people probably deal with it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Uh, a lot of it probably comes from like veterans that's in the gang. Yeah. They see a young man coming up and it's, they kinda like, Yo, who this guy? You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And it's kinda like why who you think he is? I've been doing this for years. You know what I'm saying? I'm right. like, like, I've been doing it for a while. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I'm just at a point now where I'm actually starting to get some notoriety for it. Yeah, You see what I'm saying? Like, I've always been grinding, though. You know what I'm Absolutely. saying? Absolutely. I know. I know. So, like, I'm just at a point now where I'm actually getting respect from, like, OGs that's been in the game. You see what okay. I'm saying? And I'm actually surpassing OGs that's in the game. Like, I know a lot of people that... um. I got, like I said, my man, man, he a real good dude to me, you feel me? Yeah. He kind of helped me, like, make correct business decisions and deal with, like, a lot of the street cats, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So, like, with him, he basically, um, you know what I'm saying, he, he, he a good dude. He basically forefront me, like, yo, you know what I'm saying, keep doing what you're doing, striving, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, ain't a lot of people that can deal with you out here, so just keep doing what you're doing. 
So when I got people behind me like that, that basically distracts me from the people that really don't think I can do it. You right. know what I'm saying? So and he he tell me all the time like, yo, you you dealt with a lot of people that you gave them their best work, and they can't really branch off too much more than that because it's like. You you gave them their best work, so right. if they can't do better than that. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like not that they're falling off, but right. it's kind of like you you set a plateau for them. You know what I'm saying? So they got to come that way all the time, or it's just not going to be right for them. You know what I'm right. saying? And he was like, you should get a lot of respect for that from people. Indeed, you know what I'm saying? I agree. So, like I said, I deal with a lot of good people. You know what I'm saying? I like to keep a lot of good people around me. That's why we yeah. still cool. You feel me? So, right. It's, I mean, and and that and that comes part of of you continuing on. You know what I mean? That that's just gonna that's that might keep on happening. But those voices are gonna matter less and less the yeah. higher you climb, yeah. and you're gonna hear them less and less too. Yeah. While you up on that elevator going up, yeah, you, know, you stay yeah, at the yeah. ground floor, and you know, people people should. I mean, this is a bad thing in Baltimore, right? Because the aura that's here, and people people bringing each other down, which is a lot what I saw. Here, you know, there, there was people supporting people, but there was more people trying to bring people down than yep. anything else from the sideline even, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And it's like, I don't know, I don't know where that came from, but it's deep in the hip hop culture in Baltimore, which is why there's not no real famous Baltimore right. rappers. And I don't want to go down that rabbit hole because that's yeah, a, you yeah. know what I mean? We can mm-hmm. talk about that for days because right. we already have. Mm-hmm. But, you know, as far as like in the shooting scene, there should be more people at least trying to like help each other out yeah. everywhere period I mean people should be trying to help each other out every day that's the only way we're gonna grow but yeah. you know it, imagine you having two other dudes as passionate as you on the side that'll shoot too mm-hmm. that are just gonna yo they're gonna capture all the angles that you can't capture and you can still yeah. what will happen to that you know what's yeah, up with that the, the issue is like I said it go back to the competition thing you feel me and like Baltimore it ain't it ain't like New York and it yeah. ain't like Atlanta, so it ain't really too much outlets for entertainment here. You really gotta create it. My bad. Yeah, you, you really gotta create it yourself. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, like everybody knows that. You know what I'm saying. Baltimore ain't really got that one artist that came from here that actually really made it like that. Like King Los, he 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 kind of okay. he kind of got there, but he didn't really get there. You see what I'm saying? So, right. And then like even with videographers, nobody really got there yet. You see what I'm saying? They almost got there. But they ain't really get there. So everybody has that mentality like, yo, I'm going to be that one. You know what I'm saying? Right. Which which creates a lot of that negative energy because everybody wants to be that one so bad that mm. they'll knock the next man down just that's to get to that. That's a perspective. I you know haven't heard saying? yet. Right. I that's, see. That's just a lot of stuff that I've noticed. You see what I'm saying? Like right. Everybody's been there. You know what I'm saying? Like I even catch myself sometimes doing it like, yo, man. I'm gonna I'm uh, I'm get there. You because you working, I mean? you, you know feel it because you working, right? You know what I'm saying? But like, it's different ways to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, some people might really like, like with the Facebook world, some people might go out there like, man, can't none of y'all da 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 all this. You know what I'm saying? Somebody try to get around you, and then like I said, yeah. you know what I'm saying, get the snake mentality where they try to use against you what you done taught them and all that. You know what I'm saying? So like right. I said, it's just nobody really got to that point to where they the one yet. Atlanta, right. you see so many people that done made T.I., uh, um, 2 Chainz, right. you feel me? So many people, New York, 50, um, Jay-Z, Philly, uh, uh, Beanie Siegel, Freeway, Meek Mill. So Every many city has have, their you know staple, right. So they always got people like that to lean on to where they, they, they can feed off of that and see what they did to come up, you know what I'm saying, and right. surround themselves with people like that in order to – make it so you can't really have that hater mentality in order to get around people like that or be able to yeah. make it but in Baltimore nobody made it yet nobody made it yet you see what I'm saying so it's a whole different perspective of people to me when they like yo I'm gonna be the one everybody wants to be that first person where people actually be like yo that's I mean, the guy right yeah there. that's He's a great Baltimore. goal right that's an awesome fucking yeah. goal to have to be like yo I wanna be the one Yeah. so what alright so Cause I had this with Kelly Lowe. I had this conversation too. So it's like, what what kind of advice do you give, or what would you like to see change in the culture? Cause that's what it is. Is the culture here? What would you like to see change in the culture so like things can move in a different direction? Because we're not the only ones having this conversation, mm-hmm. and I'm sure you had this conversation with more people too. Many times. And this conversation just revolves and revolves and revolves. Like, what would be something you would change? I mean, aside from the hate, aside from people bringing each other down 
or or what. But you brought a great perspective. Maybe we might talk about that more. Is that everybody? Some everybody just wants to be that one guy mm-hmm. that actually makes it and puts the city on the map. Yeah. Even though Baltimore's on the map, everybody knows what who this what this place is. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But we're represented by the wire. Yeah. When I hear people, and unfortunately, uh, I've, I'm embarrassed to say this, is I've been living here for like seven years now. I never watched The Wire. For real. I'm not a TV <laughs> person. That's the reason why. Right. I don't. I don't watch TV. Like I just. I was just telling you. I don't really watch YouTube like that. But and I'm gonna. I'm you gonna. Ain't, you ain't gotta watch it. You live in it, bro. <laughs> you, know I mean? you ain't gotta watch it. It is. It's, it's live all day. Mm-hmm. Um. But what would you tell? What would you tell the people? You know, like there has to be something that's gonna change people's minds. And maybe if you change one person's mind, that's you know that that goes long as way. Like, like my people that's close to me, they tell me a lot. Like how I feel, I just feel like you just gotta stay humble, y'all. Yo. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't really go out there and, and like and like uh, down the next man in order to think that you're gonna come up because you gotta understand that man got people that love him. Yeah. So you down in that man, that's ten less people right there that's gonna support you because they love that man right there. Mm. You see what I'm mm. saying? Like you, you. you losing you losing love from people or you trying to gain support from people, you're not gonna get it. Because if you down in the next man because you're not staying humble and you you thinking that you on another level that maybe you're not even knowing right now. Right. A lot of people they coming up with the term, yo, I'm up next. Um, how, how you up next though? Like who said that? <laughs> right. You know what I'm is this a line? Like you are we waiting on line? You feel me? You can't the thing is when it comes to that, you can't even be the one to say that, bro. I don't never say I'm up next. Very you true. You feel me? I don't never say that because the thing is, how are you to say that you up next? Like who who's saying that? Who's supporting that for you? Right. You see what I'm saying? Like other people, if they out there saying it, if you got a a, a city of maybe a hundred people out there shouting that, right? You, you in the right direction. Yes. You yes. know what I'm saying? But you ain't up next until the whole city say you up next. Right. You see what I'm saying? And then maybe not the whole city, but the majority of the city. Of the culture, at least, that. saying, bro, you that's the saying? guy. Because you always going to have that one person who, yo, I'm better than him. Right. Yo, da, 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 da. You know what I'm saying? If you better than him, you might be. But he's surrounded his peop- uh, himself around people. Yeah. That's making, his network. You know what I'm saying? Is, yeah. That's, that's making him prosper. You see it's what I'm saying? making them waves. You see what I'm saying? Right. So, like, it's just you got to stay humble. Like, you can't really knock nobody down. And, like, a lot of people say stuff to me like, yo, you can't. You 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 a real humble guy, yo. You gotta go out here and start telling people, yo, this and this and that. I was like, yo, that's not me, right? You know what I'm saying? I was like, I'm not gonna force myself to lower myself to somebody else because that's what they do. You know what I'm saying? Because look at the situation, like you telling me I need to do that because they doing that to me, right? As soon as I do that to them, somebody gonna tell them, yo, you need to do this to yo because he doing that to you. Right, and this is gonna be a revolving circle. I'm not, um, I'm not gaining a fan base. No, by by knocking them down. You see what I'm saying? So I'm gonna just be me. I'm gonna just stay high. And it's working for you. Yeah, so man. why change? You feel right? I mean? You know what I'm saying? But like I said, yeah. of course, it's gonna be those people that's gonna be like, man, regardless of anything, absolutely. You know what I'm saying, regardless, no matter how much love you show people, it's always gonna be that one or two core group of people that's gonna be out there like, man, yo. Whatever, yo, da, 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 da. but I don't let, like I said, I don't let that affect me because I'm a humble person. Yeah, I'm not gonna go out there and try to nitpick nobody. I'm gonna just do me. If you do what I do, if you do it better, cool. You feel right. me? But at the same time, I'm gonna still move. Right. So I'm gonna still be on your neck. You feel me? Because <laughs> yeah. please believe I ain't gonna stop. You know no what I'm saying? Way, but no at the way. same time, like I respect everything. You feel right. me? I'm um I'm not gonna go out there and be like, yo, what's up, yo, da da da. And fake the funk for you. I'm, I'm gonna say what's up, right? You know what I'm saying if we gain some type of energy together to be like, yo, what's up, yo, you cool people. You know what I'm saying, and that, right? You know what I mean. But I'm not gonna go out my way to break my neck to be like, yo, what's up, yo, that, that, just for a check, right? Never that. But you know what I'm saying, just stay yeah. humble, yo. Just be yourself. Yeah, I mean, in in in, in the business world, what I learned from from working corporate was you you have to network, you have to network, you have to reach out to people. See me. I'm. I had to like learn. Unfortunately, the corporate. I had to learn the corporate side. I had that was my job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to learn it, and I didn't come from that. I come from Best Style Brooklyn, right. where you know <laughs> we we in the hood and we treat everybody like we're humble and we're cool people. We get good good energy, good chemistry with people, and we vibe out. But the issue was I didn't know how to how to be in the corporate world. You have to be fake. 
Yeah. I got fired. Yeah. <laughs> I got fired. Let me just say, let me get that out the way first, because. I didn't work. It didn't work out for me. Mm-hmm. I didn't get along with somebody, and there was no way I was going to smile on that person's face. Right. But the older I get, unfortunately, you have to understand that when you want to reach a different level, you have to kind of put that behind you yeah. and still learn how to work with this person. And maybe it sounds fucked up, but you got to get what you want out of them. Right. And, you know, that's how it works. I haven't learned how to master that skill yet. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. why everybody who's been on my shows is people that I really, really care for and that we get along great. Right. You know what I mean? And maybe eventually I'll invite somebody I don't like right. to sit in that chair. You know, we're going to pick each other's brains. But You always got to get different perspectives. You yeah, for me, sure. You know what I'm saying? You can't ever be one-minded one, uh, about something. You always got to have that different perspective. And somebody going to think differently than what you think. They're going to open your eyes. They'll be like, yo, I ain't, I ain't really think that way before, but that's a good idea you see, yeah. you see what i'm saying so it's just like you always gotta have like that different mind you know what i'm saying like around me i got street people around me yeah you know what i'm saying i got some hardcore street people around me i got some people that was in the streets with me and i got some people that never even been in the streets right. before so they don't know nothing about that life you see what i'm saying like me i've never really been in the streets like that i know a lot of street cats but yeah you, same you, ain't, here. you ain't gonna catch me out there like selling no drugs or nothing like that right. but at the same time i might know some people that do right or i might right. have been around some people that been like that you feel me yeah so, but so like i just like surrounding myself around different kind of core of people because you know what i mean you learn a lot you do you, you know do what I'm absolutely that's what that's the main reason why i want to travel well yeah. i want to get out of the state for a little bit and and, and you know just gain some new acquaintances and get some new vibes because yeah. that goes such a long way. Yeah. Especially for our brain, man, because we always here. Yeah. We're always here and we always here. This is our city. This is where we live. This is where we eat. Yeah. This is where we do everything that stepping out and meeting different people, man, it just it'll broaden the horizons yeah. all the way. Yeah. You know, that's what I definitely plan on doing. I mean, that's the beauty of the internet too, that we can reach out to these people and these re- these people can reach out to us. Mm-hmm. To you know, leave comments and, and likes and yeah. stuff. Okay, where you coming from? Bam, bam, bam. And then you know, start some conversations. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's how you start spreading it. Like with me, like um, when I went to um, I took a trip to Atlanta, and that's another thing. Like when it comes to the humble thing, like mm-hmm. there's a lot of people because, like, especially with like hip hop and like dealing with those kind of people, like a lot of them people might not have like enjoy going to school you feel me like yeah me, I, I went and got my bachelor's you feel me i graduated with a business degree and all okay that, you know what i'm saying so i just kind of used that into my music you know what i'm saying so so basically like another thing besides being humble that people gotta understand you gotta be able to listen you know what you gotta saying? be able to listen like yo, a lot of people don't like to listen you know what i'm saying and they that come from school you know what i'm saying when maybe when they was in middle school or high school they don't like to listen to people talk, tell them things, you feel me? Because they always think somebody's trying to, like, be their father or, like, trying to be, like, somebody. I agree. They might look at you like, man, who is you, yo? Da, 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 yo. But I'm not trying to be nobody, but what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to tell you what I went through, you feel me? At the right. same time, if you choose to listen, that's right. cool. If not, then, you know what I mean? Like, I can't really you gonna find force your own you to way. listen, you know what I'm saying? But you're going to understand that at the end of the day. I was just trying to help you out. You right. feel me? Like, I'm saying, what I am tell you might not be the right thing. You right. know what I'm saying? But what I can only tell you is what I went through. You know what I'm saying? Times change. So what I went through, it might not be the same what you could go through if you possibly go down that same road. Right. You see what I'm saying? But at the same time, you got to understand, just listen. You know what I'm saying? It might it might make you think differently about how you're doing something. It might help you out. You feel me? So it might, it might have you maneuver different. Right. Not only that, yeah, like cause most people, a lot of people love talking. Yeah. They just don't like listening. It's yeah. a skill. It's, it's definitely a skill to listen, yeah. for sure. You know, and, and that's a skill that takes a lot of patience. Sometimes you don't want to hear it. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, for real. You got to, though, man. You know Very saying? important. Just like with the corporate world, you feel me? Like, you got to listen to your boss, you know what I'm saying? Just because he tell you something don't mean that's exactly how you want to It don't mean he's smarter it. than you. Right. It don't mean he's wittier than you. It don't mean he work harder than you. It don't mean he got the same amount of wit you right. got. It don't mean none of that. <laughs> but you got to listen to the guy, yeah. you know, the, the lady, you know. You and, know and, you know, we don't we don't want to. I definitely did, man. Right. But I was in my knucklehead back then. Cause, yeah. I mean, that was only a few years ago. But my mentality's changed so much since then. Put me back in that same position now, man, and I'll be a beast because yeah. I know how to play it. And especially with like a boss, like you can, you can just, you know, what I'm saying, like, like I said, you might not agree with everything, but you gotta understand that 
he in that position for a reason. Yeah. Because he, he went about some type of way of getting to that position. Exactly. You know what I'm More than likely, he was listening, stayed humble. You feel me? He probably put his fake face on a little bit too right. at the same time. But at the same time, you got to look at it like, all right. You know what I'm saying? He he telling me this for a reason, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Maybe I don't go at it the same way he did. Right. You see, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time... Got to heat, man. Listen. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not always going to like what you hear. You know what I'm saying? No. Not, there's never a time when 100% you're going to like what you hear. And the world, the world ain't peaches and cream, man. You so. see what I'm saying? But, like, you, you just got... If you want to get to a certain level, you got to understand that you got to be able to... Keep an open mind, Indeed. you know what I'm saying, and and listen to somebody. You feel me? So right. So it's just it's just a, it's important for real, especially with what I'm doing. It's, right. It's important. You know what I'm saying? So especially we want to expand, and I mean for the people that are gonna listen to this, man, I hope y'all y'all take some notes because this is real. Like yeah. it's definitely real. We we maybe we're not anywhere yet per se, mm -hmm. but we working. Yeah. And we steady climbing. You know what I mean? And while while the other people might be criticizing or they don't want to listen mm -hmm. or whatever the case may be, we still steady climbing. Yeah. You know, and they don't know the process that's going to take them to get from point A to point B. Yeah. It's not overnight. This should take years. Real talk. I'm prepared right now. I got I got this equipment less than a month a month ago, exactly one month ago. It was at the end of the first quarter, which was the beginning of April. Mm -hmm. April first began the second quarter of the year, and my equipment arrived like on the third. So I think tomorrow is gonna make like a whole month that I actually have this right here. But I know, I know for a fact this is gonna take a year, two years, yeah. maybe three to kick off, and I'm prepared Man. to put in the time and I'm prepared to put in the work. You got to. Yeah, you have have to have that yeah, mentality in mind yeah. what i've been telling people lately man is they have to respect the process yeah the process is so important the end goal might be important the end goal might be what motivates mm -hmm. you to continue going but that end goal can is not everything yeah. it's not it's not a quick hop scop uh hop whatever and uh, you just jump and then boom you there no yeah. the process is gonna be what's game was gonna get you there yeah. and what's the process you know what the process is because you going through it right now. Mm -hmm. The process is a lot of headaches. Yep. The process is a lot of obstacles. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of days where you'd be like, man, fuck this. Yep. But let me get right back to it, though. <laughs> yep. It's funny that you said that, too, because I went in a, a situation with one of my producers. He's like a brother to me, you feel mm -hmm. me? So it be sometimes where we disagree on stuff, you yeah. feel me? But at the same time, like, it's got to do with the listening thing, you feel me? And right. like you said, it's a process, you feel me? Like, he been doing this way before I had, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I first recorded, I recorded with him. He was already set up, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But like I said, I got big love for him. But, like, it was a situation where um, he tr he trying to get off his feet for real. He trying to de deal with a lot of different artists, get them to come to the studio and everything and try to get them to record that so he can get his name out. And I'm like, yo, bro, I'll help you out, you know what I'm saying? Right. I can do I can try to tell people to come through. You right. know what I'm saying? But you got to also understand that when you're dealing with a higher class of artists, yeah, it's certain things that they're going to pull their money out for, and then certain things that they're going to kind of look at like, I don't know, I want to see how it sounds first. You know what I'm saying? So it was a situation where I had a couple artists that was going to go to a studio that was kind of like, they, they legit for real. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And um, we ran into a situation where I was like, yo, don't even charge them. I was like, just have them come through, record something for them. You know what I'm saying? Make it sound real good. You know what I'm saying? You never know. They might pull out of their pocket and be like, yo, here, bro. Matter of fact, I want to use this on my project. You know what I'm saying? Let me listen to your beats, too. You know what I'm saying? All right. Like, Don't charge him, though. Just show him mad love. He in the he in the mind frame of, nah, bro. I need I need at least $20, $40, yo, to do that. I'm like, yo, bro, but you can't look at it like that. You got to look at it like, yo, you trying to come out the ground. When I, when I first started doing videos, I was shooting videos with a cell phone. For free, uh, for free. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I already knew, like, don't nobody really want no cell phone video, but I'll do it for them and I'll edit it, make it look nice. Then I started um, uh, saving my money up. With Listen the to the process, everybody. Yeah. Listen to the process. You feel me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I started saving my money up. And I, like I said, I was shooting them for free, so I'm using my work money. You know what I'm saying? So then I went and got me a little digi camera, one of them joints that little girls used to um, take their selfies with okay. at the clubs and stuff, you know what I'm saying, with the yeah, cord yeah. on it. You know what I'm saying? So I started using that. And then once I um, stopped using that, like I said, I was still shooting free videos at this time. So then 
saved up more money, and then went and bought my DSLR. Uh. You see what I'm saying? So once I got that, that's when I was like, all right, I might be able to start charging people now. But I'm going to still shoot for free right now right. just to build up my clientele, see who who I want to get in front of my camera. So I started, like, I, I um I worked with this dude named Balcardi. Okay. And um, I kind of look at him as kind of somebody that kind of helped me get my foot into the door with some of the OGs in the hip hop. You see what I'm saying? So I found one of his, I hit him up one day, was like, yo, I like your work. I want to shoot one of your videos. So he was like, all right, but, and I was like, I ain't trying, you ain't got to pay me, no nothing. I just want to film it. And then if you like it, we can put it out. If not, you know what I'm saying? Right. No, nah, I mean, I'm, I'm still learning. You feel me? So you're like, all right, but, so we went and shot one day. And ever since then, we'd be rapping, and um, he hit me up and was like, yo, um, you want to come and film pit fights? And I was like, I'm saying, I ain't never think of it before. I was like, it's right. cool, though. It's something different. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. then he linked me up with Shaka Pits, and we started filming the pit fights. Explain to the people what pit fights is, by the way. Pit, so uh, pit fights is a rap battle league. Okay, yeah, so the only thing we heard in animals. Right. Like. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Pit fights is a rap battle league. Okay, it's where MCs go head to head. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Spit I think fight. I was. I think I was there for a few of the pit fights actually. For real. Yeah, yeah. The battles. Yeah, the yeah. battles. Huge crowd. Yeah, yeah. I remember you know those. So I started filming those when I was first doing that. I was nervous because you know, like a lot of people out there. So when I'm filming, I'm like, oh, I can't mess up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like I'm at first when I'm first doing I'm like, nah. And then um my um my camera ended up overheating during one of the battles. Ooh. So it shut off. So I was like, dang, I was like, yo, what am I you know what I'm saying? What am I gonna do? So I'm acting like I'm filming, but I'm acting like I'm 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 not filming, but I'm acting like I'm filming though. Yeah. So I'm sitting there like boo boo boo. I'm like, dang. So then they asked for the footage and then it ended up kind of being like, dang, so my man's had the same camera I did, so I was like, yo, come out here with me one day. So we started filming, and um, I ended up bringing both cameras or whatever. So after a while, like when they was dropping the videos, they started seeing how good the quality was, and they like, yo, we, we, we like what you're doing. So I kept on filming, and then, um, you know what I'm saying? So after a while... A lot of those artists that was in there was hitting me up for, uh, uh, for music videos. There you go. So then that's when I got to a point where I was like, all right, maybe I can start charging people now. So I started small. I'm like, yo, I'll charge you $100 for a video. Right. You see what I'm saying? And then people was like, all right, that's it. I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll do it on 100 You feel right. me? So then I started filming. More and more people started hitting me up. A lot of local people started hitting me up. $100, I'll do it. You know what I'm saying? But then after a while, I was like, all right, I did a lot of this. Let me try to step my game up. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I started doing 200. It started slowing down a little bit. Yeah. You feel me? But at the same time, you got to expect that when you're asking for a little bit more money. So then as I was doing the pit fights, they ended up migrating to 92Q. So I started working with Square Wide a lot. Okay. So a lot of people look at that like, yo, he would not, um, with the radio station. You know what I'm saying? Maybe... They probably look at that like maybe I can get their songs played on the radio or something, even though I ain't got nothing to do with that. You right. Know, but that, it's just all an image. You know what I'm saying? So I use that to my advantage. Of so course. I, so ever since then, you know what I'm saying? It's just a lot of people been dealing with me. And then, um, and then like, I can charge anything I want right now for music. Wow. Video, you know what I'm That's <laughs> what's up. Like, I still show love because I know everybody local still trying to come right. with everybody working. But. I, I can charge anything I want right now. There you go. Right? For the people listening, you heard the process <laughs> just now. That process, that was a process of how many years? Since 2008. Look at that. You see? So for whoever thinking, man, that this thing happened yesterday and you maybe you just heard a Hazy fan recently, like right. this ain't just, this isn't yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This took a long time to get here and there's still a lot more to go. Yeah. You know, respect the process. Almost 10 years, man. What, man? That's it's respect. All, it's all love, though, man. But that's why I was trying to explain to my producer, because I'm right. like, yo, like, yo, you don't never know what could have popped from that. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you could have got that for, did that for free. They'd have listened to some of your beats. And the dude, one of the artists was Test Me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, Test Me just signed with Free Bands. Okay. So you don't never know what could have came out of that. He might have liked one of your beats. You know what I'm saying? And then he could have probably got it. You know what I mean, somebody to feature on it, put it on his project. You don't never. You probably could have got it. Future probably could have heard it. Right. Like, yo, I want to get on that. You know what I'm saying? So it's always like you gotta understand. Like you can't be dumb with it and just be like, yo, here. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you know what I mean, you gotta have your business accordingly. Indeed. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you get your IPI number on that project and everything and get your credit for the registration. But don't just 
say no. You know what I mean? Feel the feel the um energy out first and see right. how it go. Nobody you know if you do a free if you do a free um track, then it is what it is. I mean, right. Forty dollars ain't gonna hurt you. Right, you know indeed. So, it's not going to make you or break you, for hopefully, sure. Hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully, because it'd be rough out here, man, yeah, for yeah. sure. Can't deny that. Oh, man. So, do you used to produce also. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. I do um, mixing. And okay. I, I, I kind of master a little bit, too. Okay. So, yeah, I try dibbling, dabbling. You got to do it. Things. You got to be the <laughs> one, man, on me, man. I'm what? doing um, graphic art now, too. Like okay. Mixtape covers and DVD covers and posters. Yeah, how do you have time for all of this, man? Man. Grinding. Like, man, I learned, the thing is, I learned the project, the, like, the, the programs on my own. So, I kind of got my own style with it. So, I know what I want to do before I do the project so it kind of yeah. it, it goes by fast the more you do it it's just like basically putting a puzzle together and once you get to the end of the puzzle you only got a little bit of pieces left right you start to fit in you know what uh-huh. i'm saying so you start to develop this kind of basically style the way you already know where everything is that you want to get to you know what i'm saying so it's it's just I, I work fast now like i just did three i shot three music videos last week and then in three Ooh. days after that three days after that i dropped them all three of them. All three of them. I shot a video yesterday that I filmed it in the morning around probably 12 or 1 o'clock. And then I dropped it. I could have dropped it at um like 10 o'clock, but YouTube was on some crazy stuff. Uh, trying to make me dispute stuff. So it ended up dropping like later than that. But it was like a five-hour turnaround. Wow. And, it, and it's good quality, bro. I'm going to have you watch it when we done. Indeed, you know so you indeed. It, I'm going to get on it. And yeah. I'm going to definitely put the links out there, too, right. so everybody listening can get on it, too. Hey, man, I definitely respect what you're doing out here for the Appreciate culture, it, too, man. man. Respect and you, man. Hey, my man, my man. <laughs> I, just, I just hope, man, that one day we could be like, just give me that phone call. Yo, bro, I'm in Florida. Right. Where you at? <laughs> Come through. Boom. You know what I mean? Or somewhere else in the world where we can, you know, go out and collaborate even more and then, you know, grow from there. That's that's the phone calls I want to get. You know what I mean? I'm actually, for real, for real. That's yeah. Man, I'm actually planning a trip this summer. You know okay. You don't really hear too many people going to this place. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I'm definitely going to let you know early enough the way if that's okay. something you want to do. Indeed. You know what I'm saying? Indeed. And it's definitely going to be kind of big for what we got going on. It's got okay. something to do with my movie, too. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So we can definitely go out there and bust some moves and make something happen if you're down. You yeah. Feel me? So it's going to be a good trip, something to think about. You know Indeed. So, Indeed. We're going we gonna to collaborate a lot more. We're going to get tough. in tune with a couple things. What's the name of the movie, by the way? Let the people know what the name of the movie the, is. The movie called Carnage. Carnage. Yeah. C A R N A J E. Okay. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people think it's G, and then they mess it up when they say the J. They say Carnage J or something. <laughs> it's Carnage. Carnage. Yes. And what what's the what's the basis of it? Give us a summary. It's basically about a um up and coming Baltimore artist. By okay. the name, his name King Carnage. He one of my artists. So it's basically it's like a, I guess you could say a. It ain't really a biopic because okay. everything in the movie ain't really real. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, the streets is real though. You feel right, me? Absolutely. But at the same, everybody got they you know what I mean past. But at the same time, it ain't really like events that happened with him. You see what I'm saying? But um, okay. it's basically about an up and coming artist that's really getting the buzz. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's starting to take notice. He he got his buzz from battle rapping, got his music playing on the radio. So a lot of different like local labels is kind of like looking into him like, yo, we want to sign you. You know what I'm saying? We interested. You doing your thing. You know what I'm saying? So you basically got one label that's kind of like the good side that's trying to bring him in like on the family tip. Like, yo, it's all love. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then you got the other side that's kind of like on some, yo, if you don't sign with us, bro. It's going to be problems. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So right. he basically got this decision to make that's, you know what I'm saying, do we follow the streets or do we follow the the safer destination, you know what I'm saying? Wait, just because it's a safer destination don't really mean it's a safer situation, you see what right. I'm saying? But at the same time, it's do we go with the family side or do we go with the street side? And basically the, the decision that he makes is... 
Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we don't want to give no spoilers nah, out. Nah, nah. <laughs> I, ain't gonna do, I ain't gonna go too far, but the decision he make definitely, you know what I'm saying, makes up for the rest of the film. So Okay. Yeah, it's it's dope, man. I just can't wait to drop it, man. I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see it. And that's on the nineteenth. Yeah, yeah, May nineteenth, seven to eleven. Right. Hopefully, hey man, I'm gonna do my best to get this episode out as soon as possible. I, I still got to right. work out some background stuff uh-huh. with 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 the whole podcast. And I'm real. I talk about it on the podcast all the time. Like it's supposed to be uh, this professional thing where I'm interviewing you, but no, I'm in the building stages too. Right. And we still don't have a logo, and we still recording. Like right. no, Man, we... this professional though. For <laughs> starting off, you know what I'm saying? Like you right. got to connect you to connect us to the mic. You know what I'm yeah, like, I've been to radio stations where they got the joint. Uh, clip to the table just the mic though like just the mic yeah yo they like, got this little you know what I mean <laughs> yeah, like, it's they, they don't be having none of this you nah, know what I'm saying like I've okay. been to some for real that got that but right. at the same time like you 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 on your way bro you we on it don't, man don't never down yourself no you no for sure nah man let, especially when I got else. good people like this you here man me? why how let how can I let other people do that you right. feel me when it comes to you you already know you striving to do for better for things for sure man indeed I mean you got your process started you yes, feel me? You know what I'm saying? Indeed. All you can do is just get better from here. You feel me? That's if, it. if it's definitely what you love, then you're going to definitely, you know what I'm saying, proceed to do your thing. Indeed. You know what I'm saying? I always said this. I said, if you do what you love, it's going to love you right back. Yeah. You know, and, and that's what I live by. So I won't, we don't want to ever get, we don't ever want to put too much energy in something that we don't love. Mm-hmm. Why? Yeah, you know why? There's no point. It's too time is uh, life is too short. Life yeah. is too short for that. You know what I mean? So I tell my people all the time, man. I work because I got to, bro. If I ain't had to, man, I'd be doing this full time. Right? You see what I'm saying? Because that's what I really want to do. And then if you keep going, yeah. you're gonna be in positions to be like, you know what? I just I'm gonna just take that jump. Yeah. And you gonna and you gonna build a plane on the way down. Yeah. <laughs> Real talk. For real. For real. Um, hey, what else? What else you want to let the people? I want to. Well, what I want to end off is on a positive note. So uh, every podcast is gonna end it on a positive note. Mm-hmm. We gonna let you tell some to the people, some that um are to motivate them, keep them on track. If by any chance they feel like they've fallen off, some good words of advice, something that uh that uh keep them on the right track, especially in this city. You know what I mean? When right. when there's so much violence and so much negativity, mm-hmm. we want to uplift the people motivate them mm-hmm. keep their heads straight you know you can tell them whatever you want to tell them bro All just right. go ahead yeah man just basically you feel me just don't let the negativity consume you you feel me like if you let that negativity get to you it's gonna overcome you you feel me it's gonna force yeah. you to be a negative person you know what i'm saying just stay positive stay humble you know what i'm saying listen you know what i'm saying yes, make sure listen. you go out there and just do what you do if, if it's what you love to do right you know what i'm saying you gonna love it at the end of the day Indeed. You see what I'm saying? No matter what you create, you're going to look at it and be like, yo, I just did this. You know what I'm saying? I can't believe I did this. You I know can't what believe saying? I did this. Let me do it again. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Then you're just going to get better at the end of the day. And then all them people that said, yo, you can't do it, yo, you're not, you're not that good, yo. Just, you know what I'm saying? Go out there, prove them wrong. Be like, all right, I might not be that good at this point, but I'm going to be. You see right. what I'm saying? So just keep on striving to, you know what I'm saying, be who you are. Let your personality show in all your work you do. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's videos, whether it's photos, whether it's just Music, everyday life. Everything, you right. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's you trying to be a better father, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's you trying to uh, be a better employee at work. You know right. Know just let it be anything. Whether you trying to better your vehicle. You know right, what I'm saying? Or your right. living situation, you know what Indeed. I'm saying? Anything, you feel me? All of that actually apply to every part of that aspect of your life. Yeah, everything. You know what I'm saying? Just continue to do you, yo. Let your personality shine, you know what I'm saying? And don't let no nothing set you back, you know what I'm saying? Because everybody's going to have somebody that's going to have the devil try and bring them down. Indeed. Don't let that devil bring you down, yo. Let that, let that Lord bring you up, you feel me? Indeed. And just keep on striving to be the better person that you can be, you know what I'm saying? Let your work shine. For sure. We appreciate that. Hopefully, people listen to this and yeah, really yeah. take some heat and feel it, feel it, and and go for it because we we explain the process pretty deeply, but it goes even deeper than that. Yeah, yeah. you know. So just gotta respect that. After step one, there is a step two, and there's gonna be one hundred thousand more steps after that, mm-hmm. and maybe even after that, you won't see any difference until you take that you know that that next step boom and then you there don't quit stay humble stay focused and remember 
be somebody to somebody or be nobody to yourself. All right. All right. My man, Ryan, thank you for coming through, bro. Always much love and respect. All righty. Indeed. Peace out. All right.